Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw this graduation cap. Let's make a new document, go to File, New and set the profile to Web. Click OK. Press the Ctrl and K buttons on your keyboard to bring the Preferences window and click on the Guides and Grid. Set the grid line to every 80 pixels and the subdivisions to 4. Click OK. Now press the Ctrl and quotation mark keys to show the grid. Let's change the stroke color to none and the fill color to dark yellow. First we will draw the bottom part of our cap. Go to the rectangle tool and select the polygon tool. Click on the artboard and type 3 for the sides and 185 for the radius. Click OK. Now we will add one anchor point in the middle of the bottom side. Select the Add Anchor Point tool or press the plus button on your keyboard and click in the middle to add an anchor point. Now switch to the Direct Selection tool and select the anchor point on the left. Then press and hold the Shift key and select the anchor point on the right. Next, press the up arrow key several times to move these points up. Now we will add two more anchor points to create a curve. Press the plus button on your keyboard and add one anchor point on this side and one on the other side. Now using the direct selection tool select this anchor point, press and hold the shift key and select the other point and press the up arrow key several times. Next we will round these corners. Go to the Convert Anchor Point tool or press the Shift and C buttons on your keyboard. Click on this point and drag it out. And do the same with the other one. Next we will round the top corner and bring it down a bit. Click on it and holding the Shift key drag it out to about right here. Now press the down arrow key several times. Next we will draw the top part of our cap. Select the rectangle tool. Click on the artboard and holding the Shift key draw a big square. Next we will rotate it 45 degrees. Press the letter R for the Rotate tool, press Enter and type 45 for the angle. Now we will bring the top and the bottom anchor points closer together to form a rhombus shape. Go to the Free Transform tool and choose Free Distort. Now click on the bottom anchor point, hold and while pressing the ALT key on your keyboard, move your mouse straight up. Then let it go. Let's place this part on top of our cap and align them to the center. Select both, go to the Align window and select Horizontal Align Center. Let's change the fill color to black. Next we'll draw a tassel. Select the rectangle tool and draw a small and narrow rectangle. Now press the letter L for the ellipse tool and draw a small ellipse. Next select the polygon tool, click on the artboard and change the radius to 20. Select the top anchor point and holding the shift key move it up. Next drag to make a box and select all these three parts. Go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. Now let's move this part over here. 
Select the top shape, right click, choose Arrange and bring to front. Now select these two parts and add a white stroke to it. Then go to the stroke window and change the stroke weight to 9. And finally let's add a button to the top. Go to the ellipse tool, change the stroke color to none and the fill color to white. Click in the center and draw a small ellipse. And let's hide the grid. Thanks for watching, bye bye.